Today we're gonna to be covering three woodworking projects that are perfect for the beginner. One, they don't require a lot of tools. Two, they don't require a lot of resources. And three, they sell like hotcakes. Each of these three projects I've personally made myself when I was a woodworking beginner, and they really helped me start making money when I didn't have a lot of skill and didn't have a lot of materials and didn't have a lot of tools. So I hope today I can convince you to start making some of these so you can start making money along your woodworking journey. Without further ado, Let's go take a look at the first project. So the first project I wanted to talk about today is probably the easiest to make, and I sold a ton of these, and that is this shoe carousel. So all it is is some pieces of plywood stacked together on a Lazy Susan, and it holds shoes. I targeted a lot of ladies, women, wives out there, and they love to put this in their closet and take up all the closet space that you don't already have, right? So this one was shorter, so it actually went below the hanger clothes, some people want them really tall because they have a zillion pairs of shoes that they typically never wear. So depending on the size, I sold these anywhere from $100 to upwards of $300, just depending on how big they wanted it and how complicated they wanted to make it. What's really cool about these is you can find all these materials at Home Depot. This is just half inch plywood, a Lazy Susan that you typically buy at Home Depot or you can order off of Amazon. I'll put the link in the description and some paint. And that's really all you need. I stained some, I painted some, I burned some. And what's really cool about it is that's the customization aspect of it, right? Depending on how many tiers they want, the color they want, and they're willing to pay for that. Another thing I like about these is that you really don't have to have a lot of tools. When I first started making these, all I had was a jigsaw and a sander. And then I quickly realized I could buy the cheapest router that I could possibly find from Harbor Freight and make one of the circle cutting jigs. And I still actually have that today. This is the original circle jig that I make and you actually see I like really worn it down right here. And this is a plunge router. Like I literally did not know what I was doing. I bought a plunge router to do this with. Hey pal, you just blowing from stupid town? Anyways, I'd make a dot on a piece of plywood. I drill the hole and I would just run it and cut out the circle and that would make my circle. And then I just keep doing that over the whole sheet of plywood. And then I would take another sheet of plywood and cut all my slats. And then I would just put a slit in the middle where they'd kind of saddle each other. You flip it over when you're done, mount your Lazy Susan, and that's it. You're looking at one about this size, you're gonna sell for about $125 to $150, and it's gonna cost you around $45 to make. I probably sold about 50 of these, and they bought a lot of the tools that I have in my shop now that I really, really needed when I was first starting out. Now, can you turn this into a full-time business? I don't think so but I do know that you can sell these, make a good profit, and buy a lot of the cool tools that you want, so you can turn your hobby into a business if you want to. If not, you got some really cool Christmas gifts. Let's go on to the next one. The next project is this outdoor wooden cooler. You may be looking at this one thinking, I can't make that, that's not really beginner friendly, but I promise you it is. How do I know that? Well, this is a cooler that we actually make ourselves in our shop for freeocoolers.com, a company that I own. And this one's actually a mess up because if you notice, this name engraving is just a little bit off center. But if you wanted your name engraved on something like this and it perfectly centered up, check out freeocoolers.com to support the channel. It would be a huge help to us and everybody here at Frio Coolers. Let's get back to how you make one of these suckers because they are a hot seller for us and they're a really good gift around the Christmas season and anytime during the summertime. All you have to do is go to Walmart or Academy or any place you can buy a cooler, buy the cooler and pretty much build a box around it. But the interesting thing is you can really use any kind of wood you want, whether it's pine, old barn wood, plywood, fence pickets, cedar, you name it, you can use it. But if it's going outside, I just recommend you coat it properly so it doesn't deteriorate in like a year because the customer wouldn't be that happy. This, this is, is not okay. And what I also like about these for beginners is that you don't have to have a lot of tools. You can really just have a circular saw, a hand saw if you wanted to, it'd take you a little longer, or just a miter saw. It's only straight cuts making this thing and some nails and screws. So you don't have to overcomplicate things. Once you figure out how to build it and how to construct a box around it, it's smooth sailing. And then you can customize the front, whether it's with the laser or whether you're hand painting it or whether you don't customize it at all. 
Then you target anybody with a backyard. We personally like to target businesses because they love these for corporate events, golf tournaments, and different stuff like that because they put their beer in there, their water in there, and they love to sell them. So if you're looking for a customer, anybody with a backyard and a business, that's where you can sell them just starting off. And I'll be honest with y'all guys, I really didn't make these when I was first starting out because this is a product that just, I didn't pay any attention to when I was a beginner and I really wish I did because you can sell these for quite a bit of profit and do not have a lot of material cost in it. So you're spending anywhere from $40 upwards to $100 to make something like this and you can sell them anywhere from 200 and I've actually seen them go upwards of $400 just depending on how much you customize them. Some people like to put a cutting board here and they put it by their barbecue pit, etc. So there is a lot of money to be made in this with very minimal tooling and that is perfect for a beginner. So the question, can you build a business around making these? It's quite obvious because I'm currently doing it and it works really well. So yes, you can build a business, but yes, it's a perfect project for a beginner to make money starting off. Let's continue to project number three. So the last project we're gonna talk about today is not necessarily the most easiest, but it is the funnest to make. It's the most creative you're gonna be, and it's really not that hard to make, but it looks extremely complicated. And that, my friends, are beer bottle cap tables. Now, to give you a little background on this particular table, as you can see, it's seen some better days, and those better days were definitely in college. I'm not gonna tell you what it's used for at all. May have ping pong ball holder, solo cup holder, and 10 cup holders on each side. So, I'm picking up what you're putting down. This table has seen better days, but it did survive college. I made so many of these when I was coming up in the woodworking world because this thing right here, whenever you make any size table, I particularly made card tables with them. All you needed was a miter saw and a table saw because you build the legs out of two two by fours, you glue them together, you shave them on your um, table saw, you take that same two by four, cut little slivers for sides, and then you go to a local bar, you grab some bottle caps from them, you ask them, hey man, can I have some bottle caps? And they'll usually laugh at you, like, why do you need bottle caps? And you're like, trust me, man, I'll show you a picture. They'll give you a giant box of them, you walk out with it, you sort them, cut a piece of plywood, right? You put your side on, and you just lay bottle caps. And if you're old enough, you drink some beer with it, and you just lay bottle caps. Something this size right here is gonna take you about three hours to lay. I typically mapped it out on a piece of graph paper, my color schemes, and I did different NFL logos. I did different different colors for different bars. Bars love them, restaurant love them. Football people absolutely love them. I also made stools with beer bottle cap tops on them as well. And all of these were great sellers. So a table that was roughly 30 inches by 30 inches back in the day, I sold for $400. And the total material cost, including the epoxy, was around 50, 60 bucks. So I bought a gallon of epoxy because it takes about a gallon per 30 by 30 table. And then a couple two by fours and a black can of spray paint and you had yourself a beautiful table. It's a little more on the time side, but they look super cool and they last a really, really long time. One pro tip I want to give if you're still watching is Whenever you lay these bottle caps, they are gonna float in that epoxy. The thing that I learned over time is lay your bottle caps and just pour a light drizzle of epoxy over them, just a little tiny line, and make sure you coat every single bottle cap. Then when you come back, you can pour your epoxy over there and it'll all dry clear and you'll never notice that little drizzle and that holds it down. Do not use Elmer's glue on this because whenever you pour epoxy over like water-based glue, it turns whatever color it was before it dried. So if you're using Elmer's glue, it's gonna turn white. If you're using wood glue, it's gonna turn yellow. And I just noticed one thing about this, Jeremy, if you wanna zoom in right here, this is one of my original business cards from way back in the day right here. So guys, now you may ask the question, can you build a business around it? I don't necessarily think you can because of the time aspect of how long it takes to lay these bottle caps and you have to be a little bit of a craftsman and it's kind of hard to build a business around that. But it's definitely something that you can do as a beginner with minimal tools, minimal materials. So there you have it. Three projects that are easy for beginners to make and make money with. I hope y'all can make money. I hope this helps y'all along y'all's woodworking journey. If you would like to see more videos like this, more project-based videos of stuff that you can sell and make money with, please let us know in the comments in the comment section below. Subscribe, and remember guys, if you ain't cutting it close, you ain't cutting it right. So this, if you sound it out, hive, hat, it, up, to, H, ear.
Oh. I've had it up to here. Wow. That's incredible. Wow. The moose wow. plus a 